we're going to take a look here at Nora Al Shabini playing a really good attacking forehand length when she gets in front of her opponent. Unfortunately, we don't really quite see where that ball ends up in that second bounce, but we can we can really kind of tell what's going to be happening here. The first thing to notice is then once she hits the shot, once Nora gets in front and hits the shot, look at Laura's racket position and body position. She's having to go in really defensive. She knows that she's going to have to hit up on that ball. And this is a common fault I see with amateurs that I coach a lot. They'll get in front, they'll get a good position, semi like this. And what will happen is they'll end up hitting that ball a lot higher on that front ball, maybe on that middle line or above. And they also end up hitting the ball behind the back of the service box. And look, I'm all for getting that ball to the back of the court. Of course I am. You want to hit that back wall. But there's certain positions you want to get in front of your opponents and fade that length like Nora El Shavini is doing here. She's hitting that ball a little bit low on the front wall hitting it in towards the middle and back of the service box. So now that ball is going to be dipping onto that back wall. And that's really attacking. That's really positive. And this is this fading and dying length that I'd encourage players to look at and work on, especially when you're getting in front of your opponent and you're starting to create a little bit of pressure. There's nothing worse than getting in front and then ballooning this ball up. So a few little classic things from Shabini here. You know, the really good open stance lunge, high racket position, a lot of threats in that racket position. She's got in front of her opponent, taking the ball on the rise. And then you'll notice as she comes in, she makes contact and she actually rolls her racket over. She flattens it quite a lot. She's not looking to get under the, this ball too much. And there's that classic horizontal shape in the forehand coming in just at about at that position, makes contact, slightly shuts the racket face off as you'll probably just about notice. It's a bit blurry, but you'll just get the sense that she closes it, rolls her forearm over, and makes sure that ball stays short, putting a lot of pressure on Laura in that back corner. And as I said, Laura now has to go and defend this fading attacking length when you're in front of your opponent is definitely a skill to hone and develop because you don't want to waste these opportunities. You want to take them, make them play defensive, make them lift it up off that back wall.